Hey everybody. So today I'd like to talk about some of the mistakes I made and what I've done to correct them when I've sold snakes to people. So I'll first of all start off by saying the picture I'm putting on for the splash page or whatever you call it for this video is showing me Tempest Snake that's 99 degrees. So that picture came it was right around 2007 I want to say and I bought that snake from a guy Viper Viper something and he really impressed me because uh, he shipped the snake and obviously had the deli cup and the heat pack turned it into an oven you saw 99 degrees the snake was dead it's the only snake I've ever received that was dead uh, I've never shipped a snake that was dead on arrival that's the reason I don't like using deli cups because you can turn them into an oven. I've realized that way back then. So I got a hold of him and I said, hey, look, you know, thing's dead. It's 99 degrees. Now, the thing for him to do would have just probably easiest would have been just refund my money. But what he did was he had his holdback female and he sent her to me. So not only did I get a little bit nicer of a snake, but he also paid shipping again where most people would have just said okay i'm going to refund it so they weren't out the shipping you know maybe did he spend my money and he didn't have it yeah it could be but you know what i like to think he was a, a good guy and I, I appreciated that so i knew early on what it was like so you know a couple instances where where i've done something wrong uh, there's a gentleman, I don't know his name right offhand, uh, just this past year he bought a, a yellow belly or gravel from me and I sent it out to him and when he got it he goes, hey, this isn't the same snake. And I went and I looked and I had two of those animals and I had sold one previously and I deleted the wrong ad. So I told him, I said, no problem, I'll refund it and everything and, and the guy was cool, he says, hey, if it's the same animal, I'm, I'm okay with it. And I said, yeah, it's the same animal, same clutch, everything. But I still refunded his shipping. I said, you know, and I told him straight out, I go, I have to give you something. That way I learned from this. It's my mistake and I need to do something for you. And um, I had another one early this year that I had sent out to a gentleman, Joe Hernandez. And it was a pewter heck clown possible head exanthic. And I remember the day I was making the label and the, everything. And Michael went and got it and put it in the box and said, hey, it's in shed. I just said, okay. And we shipped it. So the next day he got it and his wife and they were just distraught. They got a hold of me, said this thing looks horrible. And I didn't even argue with them. I, before he could even say anything, I refunded his money. Uh, he still had the animal. He might have not shipped it back, but he was a good stand-up guy, and he did. And so instantly, I refunded his money, 100% shipping, the cost of the snake, everything. I remade a new label to go from him to me, and I sent it to him right away. And I got it back, and I saw exactly what he was talking about. It never should have left here. Uh, I was embarrassed that it left here. So every now and then you'll get hatchlings and they'll actually go through a double shed. They'll start shedding and before they end up shedding that, they start shedding again. And they, they really look super constricted. They look like they're on death's door because you've got to get the, the top shed off to get the next shed. And that's what happened. It just... It looked horrible, it looked way worse than it was, but I mean, come on, this guy wanted this snake, his wife was excited about it, opened the box, and, and I couldn't apologize enough to this guy. Uh, and it, ironically, it was funny, he messaged me about a snake later and said, I don't know if I'm on your do not sell list. I'm like, why? I'm the one that fucked up. You did nothing wrong. It was 100% on me. So... You know, we need to, as hobbyists, breeders, we, we need to accept our faults and 
I, I see everybody wants to hold everyone else accountable for the, the littlest things, but you need to look at how you handle your, your own situations. So, you know, I've had another couple people, um, Amar Hanif from Purple, uh, Purple Passion Morphs. So I got a snake from him and it was a super pastel yellow belly clown breeder male. I got it and in just under a month it was dead. And so I ended up, I did a necropsy on it and it just had an enlarged liver and it died. Uh, there was no real rhyme or reason. And Amar was cool. He said, hey man, you know what? I've got this female that's worth half as much as what that male was. I'm going to send it to you. And, and we both took half the loss on it. And I thought that was really cool. And, um, you know, we, we've been friends and he's a stand-up guy. I'd recommend him to anyone. Just how he carries himself like a man. And, um, you know, there, there's other people that have done the same thing, that whether it's really their fault or not, um, you know, they, they try to make something right. They, they don't just try to weasel their way out. Um, you can't do it in every situation. I just had one to this day. I'm, I'm still super bummed. It's, it's a really, really sore subject to me right now is, uh, I hatched out a, pastel hypo puzzle mail and it wasn't even for sale I had somebody asked me hey what would you sell it for so I reached out and I asked a couple people they told me and one of them told one of their friends and they got a hold of me and said hey you know what are you gonna do with this and I still said I don't know uh, it was beautiful I was keeping its two sisters but I wasn't really sure and he's like I want it and so I ended up making a deal and uh, in the package deal, that snake ended up going for forty-two fifty, and uh, it had only had one or two meals at the time, and we agreed it was fine. It was going to Canada, so we needed to hurry and get it to Canada. He picked the exporter. I'd never heard of him, and something about it just didn't sit right with me. Uh, double hat that I sent. I took a bunch of pictures and sent to him and said, "Hey, you know." make sure they don't swap it. Like, I, I don't know, I just, I had some bad feelings about it. And, and they wanted them shipped in deli cups, which I don't do, but I frickin' did. Um, they needed to have the shipment it was going to on it. So I had to cut the box open at the FedEx and write the shipment. And I'm just kind of like, wow, these guys can't even keep their shipments straight. It's so many red flags, my dumb ass, I sent it anyways. So it gets there, it's there for a week and a half. They don't feed it. Um, they ship it to Canada. So it made it from San Diego to Florida, fine. Made it from Florida to Canada and it was okay. He called, got it and it was all right. And then about another week and a half later, I get a message that he had fed it three days before, went out, looked at it and it was dead. Now. By all accounts, I'm not liable for that. I mean, it went to an exporter I hadn't picked. It, I, I offer a 15 day health guarantee. Most people it's 24 hours. And this was outside of that. The part that pissed me off more than anything is I sent that snake to its death because I knew I had just feelings, gut feelings, and I did it anyways. I should have just backed out of it and uh, so I ended up, he is getting a, a full credit for that animal for something I produce this coming year. But like I said, even though I honestly feel I'm not liable at all, both the sisters are kicking and doing fine. It's something, I don't believe he did anything wrong. I believe all his care was all right. I believe it was something at that exporters, animals coming in and out and everything else. But... I did it, teach myself a lesson, follow my gut. Now I don't think I'm going to be exporting anymore. Um, we can't just throw stones at people and then kind of slack off what we think because it has to do with money. 
all the stuff going on right now, we see things that are judgment calls and everyone's like, oh, just drama. Yeah, you know, if it's talking about two people, you know, just not seeing eye to eye about what an animal's worth or if two genes are the same or, or this or that, yeah, that's drama. But if you see someone blatantly screwing somebody else over, it's your responsibility to speak up too and start holding people accountable for doing the right thing. I mean, it's easy for us just to click away or, you know, thumbs down or, or whatever, but we need to make sure if we want to be treated right, we have to treat others right and we need to hold those accountable because if not, it's free reign. Just let them start screwing everybody. Yeah, post your 1,200 gram female and you get a 600 gram female. Hey, it's okay, because no one's gonna say nothing about it. No one's gonna do nothing. If you wanna make changes, changes start with you. Make sure you're treating everybody as though you were the one getting the animal from them. And when you see people doing something wrong, speak up. I mean, this is, this is your hobby, it's your community. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any topics you want me to talk about, bring up. Um, you know, on the same subject, if there's any disagreements and people want to start going and doing live interviews and trying to solve it, shit, man, if no one else will do it, I'll fucking do it. I know a lot of people, they just want to sell, so they don't want any drama brought to their name, but dude, if if you ain't got the sack to try to get stuff done right, find people that will. So, all right. Thanks for watching.